here in this lecture let us know about poriferent characteristics you can remember them very easily by remembering a sentence porifera me cs hai if you take the p letter you know very well the name itself indicates the presence of pores on their whole body called ostia and at the apex they will have vasculum the water enters through the ostia in current water system and vasculum is the outlet through which the water escapes from the body and that is about the p pores ostia and vasculum and now coming to r reproduction takes place both asexual and sexual methods asexual method by budding and also fragmentation sexual method by gamete formation and the fertilization will be internal inside the body coming to the digestion digestion is intracellular because digestion takes place within the cell the food particles that are present in the water currents they will be taken up by the cells and the digested intracellularly and here after fertilization the development will occur indirectly that means larval forms are present amphiblastula larva parenchymula larva and also coeloblastula larva and trichemella larva so larval stage is present that is why the development is not direct it is indirect and the coin the porifera name is coined by robert e grant and here all the poriferans are aquatic mostly marine and very few are fresh water like spongilla spongilidae these are all asymmetrical they have no symmetry we cannot divide the body into two halves and in aquatic forms generally the excretory material will be ammonia so by taking a letter all are aquatic asymmetrical ammonia or robert e grant okay now may multicellular animals these are all multicellular multi cellular animals they are very primitive animals there is no tissue grade of organization no sensory cells are present no sensory cells are present no sensory cells means means nerve cells are present they are absent well developed canal system is present for what for getting the food material and also for respiration for taking oxygen and leaving out co2 leaving out excretory materials nitrogenous waste materials the canal system is very well developed and there are they are lined by the central spongocele is present central spongocele is present so here you can add spongocele is present here like this the spong these are the various sponges like cycon you spongia spongilla fresh water sponge and here you can see the spongocele and i told you the small pores present all over the body are the ostia are the pores so from the ostia the water enters the water current is maintained by the coenocytes or collar cells which are with flagella flagellated cells they maintain the water current and uh, the water with excretory material nitrogenous excretory materials and co2 will be excreted out will be pumped out through the large opening that is osculum that is osculum and next these animals are hermaphrodite they are bisexual sexes are not separate but but 
fertilization takes place internally that means cross fertilization the sperms formed in the sponge will be released into the water and they enter into the another sponge where the eggs are ready here the eggs are not yet ready so cross fertilization takes place and indirect development takes place and uh, um, asexual reproduction also takes place by fragmentation and and budding and here in between the pinacocytes and coenocytes here collar cells i told you pinacocytes also will be present pinacocytes also will be present outside protecting the sponge outside layer is pinacoderm consisting of pinacocyte and the pinacocytes near the pores near the pores are called porocytes these are called porocytes so between the pinacoderm which is the uh, outer layer protecting the entire sponge and the spongocil is lined by coenocytes or collar cells or flagellated cells in between them mesenchyme or meso highly is present where you see amebocytes archaeocytes etc and here the supporting structures called spicules are present which are made up of either calcium carbonate or silica or fine spongin fibers are also present which give support to the body so not only uh, uh, i mean uh, pinacoderm coenoderm in between the mesenchyme is present where you will see the supporting structures called spicules are present so these are all the general characters of poriferans which are commonly called sponges they are commonly called sponges they are commonly called sponges they are mostly marine they are mostly marine from all the letters itself we are getting that some are fresh water fresh water that is spongilla spongilla and robert e grant robert e grant coined the term porifera coined the term porifera so this they they are of various shapes like cycon like this and you spongia spongilla there are many pores called ostia like this and the system will be like this canal system or water canal system which is the lifeline of the sponges and the coenocyte will be like this with nucleus cytoplasm and uh, the collar will be that is why collar will be present that is why they are called collar cells flagellum is present so which uh, maintains the water current within the body of the sponge okay thanks for watching if you want to watch more videos please subscribe my channel